The state does not need this money. Disagreement in Salem over taxing federal PPP loans. A group of lawmakers working on legislation to count those forgivable loans as taxable income. But opponents say the state doesn't need the money and it goes against what Congress wanted. K2's Keaton Thomas joins us live with the story. Keaton, is there a middle ground here? Uh, well, Steve, the vast majority of businesses that received PPP loans got fewer than $200,000, meaning those loans generally went to those small and medium-sized businesses. And now there are talks in Salem to target that taxable income portion that we're talking about only to those largest businesses. When Congress passed the Paycheck Protection Program last year, lawmakers said those loans couldn't be counted as taxable income. They also said businesses could use that money on deductible expenses. So it creates what some call a double dip, where businesses get a two-fold tax benefit. In Oregon, it's the same way. And now there's at least one proposal to change that, counting forgivable PPP loans as income. Representative Con Fan brought that proposal forward, and in a statement, Fan told me, we need to focus tax breaks on those businesses that actually need it, and not the businesses that received millions. Instead of giving these funds to profitable big businesses, we can reinvest in struggling businesses and communities that need our help right now. Proponents say that double debt could cost the state half a billion dollars. But opponents, like House Minority Leader Christine Trazen, said Oregon doesn't need the money. The federal government is again coming in with additional support for states. Oregon's going to get $2.6 billion in addition to the money we got last year. We don't need this money from Oregon businesses that kept their end of the bargain and kept people employed. Sandra McDonough, president and CEO of Oregon Business and Industry, said Congress didn't intend for this money to be taxed, and so Oregon shouldn't do it either. If most of the money went to payroll, it has already been taxed once in the form of, of income taxes on the people who were, were earning. Again, there are discussions in Salem uh, to really remove that double dip only for the largest businesses out there. It's unclear if and when a formal proposal will actually come forward. We'll stay on top of that. For now, we're live in Northeast Portland. Keaton Thomas, K2 News. I know you will, Keaton. Thank you. And if there's